Okay, how we recover a refrigerant back into the ODU to do a repair, uh, you know, or to remove the line set and check the line set or whatever you got to do. If you have to put refrigerant back into the ODU when it's in your whole system, you want to recover it back down. So you want to turn the inside unit on, turn it on cold and fan. And as soon as you do that, the outside unit is going to turn on. As soon as it turns on, we're going to uh, turn off the valve here. So I'll give it a second. Once the outside unit turns on, we're going to get it set up. And uh, you have it hooked up right here, just the low side. It's coming up and you can see the pressure on it right now. That's how much pressure is in it. And you have it hooked up. So you don't want to hook up, you don't want to touch this one here that you have hooked up right here to your valve. Okay, you want the opposite one. Sometimes it's on the top, sometimes it's on the bottom. That's why I'm describing it like that. I'm not. I'm just telling you. If if you have it hooked up, that's the one you don't touch until last. You touch the first, but when you do not have hooked up, that's the one you want to close off. So as soon as the outside unit um, turns on, then we will uh, turn that off. Okay. Okay. As soon as the outdoor unit pulls on and turns on, the fan turns on. You go ahead and do not again. Do not do it, touch the one that has your hose hooked up. You're going to have about 150 pounds of pressure in it, you know, and then you just want to close this one here down. Okay, so turn it all the way down. And then when you, when you turn it all the way down, like this, you can start seeing it's going, to, it's going to pump itself down. It's going to start going down uh, little by little. And it's going to draw the uh, refrigerator into the outside unit. So you just watch it, and as you see it go down, then you will uh, turn, get your Allen wrench ready and you have it all set up there. So when you see it go all the way down to zero, it happens pretty quickly. Um, you just turn it all the way off right then. As soon as, you get, as soon as it gets to zero, like maybe one or two away, you're going to, because right now it's pumping all the refrigerant back into the system. Okay, that's what it's doing right now. So as soon as it gets to the bottom, that means you have all the refrigerant recovered into your outside unit. So let's we'll watch it get down there. It's pumping it down. Almost there. As soon as it gets to zero, you want to go ahead and close it off and then turn off your breaker, pull your cutoff switch. Okay, right here I am closing off the second valve, the one with the line on it. Okay, I'm closing it all the way off and tightening it up. Once it's all the way fully closed off, sorry about the stability there guys, we'll, we'll be done. Anyways, now zero and turn off your cutoff switch. You'll see that you've recovered it all the way down to zero, so all your refrigerant now is, is back into your system. Okay, so the outside unit now is fully charged, ready to go.